Hello, welcome to Riverbed YouTube channel. My name is Siva Sankar Subaya. In this video, we are going to see configuring SNMP V3 on Steelhead and Steel Fusion appliances. I will talk you through the steps involved in Rio's SNMP V3 configuration, a short demo with few SNMP tools available out there, and finally, few troubleshooting steps. SNMP V3 support in RIOS. RIOS 5.0 supports SNMP version 1 and version 2. RIOS 6.0 and later support SNMP version 3 with USM model and view based access control mechanism. RIOS 7.0 and later supports SNMP V3 authentication with AES 128 bit and DES encryption. Next, we will see steps involved in the configuration of SNMP v3. Step 1. Configure SNMP v3 user with the authentication and privacy. Step 2. Create a group and associate the user with it. Step 3. Create a view and add all uh, OIDs that should be included or excluded from this view. Step 4. Create an access policy by associating group and view with security level. Step 5. Test the configuration with SNMP walk or other SNMP monitoring tools. Generally, you would not need to configure context ID in the monitoring system, but some might need to input context ID. Contact ID context ID is nothing but engine ID on the Steelhead or Steel Fusion appliances. So now where do we get this engine ID? Show SNMP command will provide you the engine ID on the Steelhead Steel Fusion CLI. Okay, it's the time for a demo. In this demo we are going to configure the Steelhead for SNMP v3 and test the configuration with four different commonly used tools. Those are SolarWinds Network Performance Monitor. SNMP Walk Utility for Windows, SNMP Tester Utility for Windows, SNMP Walk on Unix based operating systems. Log into a Steelhead, select Administration and SNMP v3. Click Add a new user and input the username. For this demo, I create a user called user v3. Then select the authentication protocol and for here I'm selecting SHA and supply a password. Password must be at least 8 characters long. Then confirm the password. Next, check privacy option if you are going to use the SNMP v3 security level auth brave. Then choose protocol. I'm selecting AES here and keeping the same password as authentication. Then click add to complete the user creation. Next step, click administration SNMP ACLs and click add a new group. Provide the group name, group v3 here, and select USM, which is for SNMP v3, and match the user you created in previous step. Click Add to create the group. Then you need to add a view for this, add a new view, and give the name for the view. View version 3 here. and include the OIDs whichever you want to include and if you want to include everything .iso or just one, and you can also mention any OIDs which you want to exclude and click add
and finally you need to combine the groups and views together select the group and security level and attach the views with that click add to complete the configuration on this delete next we are going to test the configuration which we have just done on solovin's npm tool go to settings manage nodes and then click add node input the management interface IP address of the steelhead on which steelhead is listening for SNMP service by default it is the primary interface but however you can modify this setting for now that is out of scope of this demo so let's carry on with our demo on the polling method section select SNMP version 3 SNMP port number you can leave the default port 161 in most of the implementations unless there is a port change on the appliance for this now fill in the credentials which you have already configured on this TLED before username user v3 and select authentication method SHA1 and input the password which you have configured in the previous step since we chose privacy option select the exact protocol configured on this TLED here I had configured AES which is AES128 and the password which is same as the previous uh, one then let's click test and see what happens here we see it can pull this TLED successfully this verifies that the configuration we have done is uh, correct on this TLED but just for completeness sake click next and we will add this TLED as a new node in this tool Verify once again the settings are correct and click add node. Now node is added successfully. Here we go, it is green. Our next tool is SNMP Walk for Windows. It's a great little tool for testing. Here's the command syntax for polling this TLED using SNMP v3 with the user authentication and privacy methods we created in uh, this TLED. Also, I have start and end OIDs input here just to poll the system of time. Now hit enter and we see the information requested. Here's another GUI based tool which is called SNMP tester. Now input the TLED IP address and select the SNMP version v3 input the SNMP v3 username and select authentication and encryption which is nothing but privacy methods and type in the passwords in this case I'm going to read the device uptime run the test and we have something for us let's expand a bit here we go we have the uptime last but not least a famous tool on Unix flavors SNMP walk I have a different lab steal it with exactly same SNMP v3 config to which we are going to pull now okay let's try to ping the device and uh, check the reachability it is pinging for simplicity I'm just polling for only system of time with the command SNMP work and with all its uh, credential and the IP address hit enter here we go we got the uptime of the system this completes our demo 
for this session and there are many more SNMP tools available and I hope you get the point about SNMP config on Steelhead and how to test it. Let's see a few troubleshooting tips. While configuring SNMP v3 user via Steelhead CLI, authentication and privacy type should be in uppercase. Lowercase is not a valid option. Please make sure that SNMP v3 settings do not contain a space character. Space characters are not accepted. For more information, please refer to support.riverbed.com and Steelhead and Steelfusion deployment guides and user guides. I hope this was informative to you. Thank you for watching.